Hi, it's Katrina. My friend David is going to be helping me out with the voiceover today, so I hope you enjoy. Number 10. Looking to the stars. One little known fact about the Vatican is that they're on a mission to study alien life using the latest advancements in scientific technology. The Vatican has a private observatory that's used by its own astronomers. The Vatican is now the one combing the skies for extraterrestrial life, 400 years after the church locked up Galileo for his theories on the universe. Reverend Jose Gabriel Foniz, who worked as an astronomer at the Vatican Observatory, says the possibility of life out in the universe deserves serious consideration. Foniz is a Jesuit priest who leads a team of physicists, biologists, and astronomers in studying the cosmos and the origin of life. The Catholic Church has certainly come a long way since the year 1600, which is when they burned philosopher Giordano Bruno at the stake for speculating there could be another world inhabited by other creatures. Now the Vatican is the one actively searching for these supposed aliens. The Church says the existence of extraterrestrial beings would not contradict faith in God, but would instead show the unimaginable scope of God's creativity. Then again, maybe the Vatican is up to something they aren't sharing with us. Perhaps they're trying to find the aliens before the rest of the world so they can control the narrative or bury the information altogether. Number 9. The Ark of the Alien Covenant the Ark of the Covenant is one of the most coveted religious artifacts in the world. In the Bible, the Ark is a wooden chest covered in solid gold, complete with a luxuriously decorated lid and two long golden staves for carrying the chest. Within the Ark are the two stone tablets which contain the Ten Commandments handed down from God to Moses. The treasure was last seen in Solomon's Temple before the Babylonians attacked Jerusalem between 597 and 586 BC. Unfortunately, the location of the Ark has been a mystery ever since. But what if the Ark wasn't just a container for the Ten Commandments? Some say the Ark of the Covenant was a highly advanced piece of technology used by the Israelites to communicate with beings beyond the stars. After all, it was Moses speaking directly with God who wrote down the commandments. It makes sense that the story has some connection to reality. Legend has it that when the Ark was used, an image of God would appear over the chest, almost like a hologram. And as you may know already, gold is used in smartphones across the world to communicate across huge distances. If there was an alien communication device needed to speak with beings across galaxies, chances are it would need to be made of solid gold, just like the Ark. However, as with most conspiracy theories surrounding the Church and extraterrestrial life, this one is impossible to find evidence for. Nobody knows where the Ark is today, or if it ever existed in the first place. Number 8. Jesus the Alien Many believe that Jesus Christ was an alien being, and if he wasn't, then his resurrection was carried out by aliens. There is an argument that Jesus' supernatural powers can be attributed to the fact that he didn't come from this planet. The Aetherius Society, a religious group some call a cult, believes in this theory wholeheartedly. Their entire religion is based around Jesus having been a cosmic missionary who revealed himself to the people of Earth 2,000 years ago. We know Jesus taught his disciples all about goodness to one another and how to live life as a decent person. The God he allegedly preached about was not the angry God of vengeance from the Bible, but rather a God who created all matter and things that exist in the universe. According to the Aetherius Society, Jesus was part of an interplanetary mission to bring awareness of the cosmic God to the primitive inhabitants of backwater worlds like Earth. Then, when he was butchered by humans, his fellow extraterrestrials resurrected him, and he returned to space. Number 7. Jesuits and Area 51 To be a Jesuit is to be a member of the Society of Jesus. You may have heard of the Jesuits before, although they've largely fallen out of the public view in the last few decades. They started as an order of priests for the Roman Catholic Church in 1540. They were missionaries whose duty was to oppose the Reformation and to spread the word of Christ across the world. Their headquarters is set up in Rome, and they've participated in the evangelization of the citizens of at least 112 different nations. Because the Jesuits are such an old order, it should come as no surprise that they're at the center of many conspiracy theories. As early as 1551, the Jesuits were described as a fraternity of priests who didn't believe in Jesus. For the first century of their operation, many people across the globe thought they were trying to infiltrate various political circles outside the Catholic Church. Allegedly, their end goal was to secure alliances for global domination. Over the years, the conspiracy theories have gotten even more outrageous. 
Some claim the Jesuits were behind the French Revolution in the 17th century. The Jesuits were also supposedly responsible for the sinking of the Titanic. J.P. Morgan allegedly had a meeting with the Jesuits in 1910, and the two parties came to a mutual agreement. They would dominate the central banking system. However, in order to do this, they needed to get rid of certain influential businessmen. To take care of these businessmen, including Isidore Strauss and Benjamin Guggenheim, the Jesuits hatched a plan to sink the Titanic with them on board. Some people even believe the Jesuits had something to do with the Roswell crash in New Mexico in 1947. None of the theories have ever been proved, but that doesn't mean they aren't true. Number 6. Aliens in the Vatican in 2016, hackers broke into the private email account of John Podesta, Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman at the time. They were hoping to dig up dirt on Hillary, but instead they revealed a strange UFO conspiracy. Inside the emails was a shocking revelation that one of the most powerful people in Washington knows about the existence of alien beings. One of the emails was from June 25, 2014, between Podesta and NASA astronaut Edgar Mitchell. He was quoted in the email as requesting a conversation with Edgar and President Barack Obama regarding the disclosure of extraterrestrial life for the benefit of Earth. Out of all the conspiracy theories regarding UFOs, Area 51, and secret government X-Files, this is by far the most legitimate proof we have of alien life. Podesta is one of the main men in Washington, and we have evidence of him speaking with a NASA astronaut about celestial beings operating within our solar system. To make things even more outrageous, Edgar Mitchell died in February of 2016 before anyone could ask him the truth of what happened. It's also been suggested that the Vatican shares the same knowledge of alien beings as the government, and that they're fully aware of an imminent alien invasion. And now for number five, but first it's shout out time. I wanted to give a big thank you to Kirito Terry 567 and Halal Hassan for supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about amazing discoveries, or dinosaurs, or alien conspiracy theories. Number 5. Guardian Angels and UFOs there's a conspiracy theory in circulation that states aliens were present for the crucifixion of Jesus Christ roughly 2,000 years ago. The theory comes from a very mysterious painting located in the country of Georgia. The artwork is housed within the Svetitskaveli Cathedral, and it depicts the crucifixion of the Son of God. We see Christ hung on the cross in the portrait, a large temple wall looming in the background, and unidentified flying objects hovering in the sky. One of the objects is red, the other is blue, and they almost look like flying jellyfish pods. The cathedral is an official UNESCO World Heritage Site in the ancient town of Mosqueta. The painting was likely made in the Byzantine period during the 11th century. And while it does seem to show a pair of UFOs in the sky, religious scholars say that couldn't be further from the truth. Andrew Gould, an expert in Eastern Orthodox art, says the red and blue jellyfish-looking spacecraft are really just depictions of the sun and moon. Back then, the sun and moon were typically included in Byzantine artwork showing the crucifixion. They are supposed to be references to the Gospel, which explains that after Jesus Christ died, the sky went completely black for three hours. Still, there are many who believe the Church is hiding a much larger secret that has been hidden in their artwork. It could very well be that on the day of Christ's death, aliens watched from above. Number 4. Mona Lisa and the Alien High Priest Proof of alien life may just be hiding in the Mona Lisa, one of Leonardo da Vinci's greatest masterpieces. Conspiracy theorists claim there is an alien high priest concealed in the painting. These theorists supposedly identified the priest's facial features, a mysterious headdress, and hands, all hidden within the 16th century painting. Leonardo is already known for deliberately concealing secret messages and codes in his work, especially the Last Supper. But when it comes to the Mona Lisa, the group of theorists say it was painted to conceal important historical facts regarding extraterrestrials in the Roman Catholic Church. Da Vinci may have had some knowledge of alien beings operating in the Church. Many people believe he tried to reveal this knowledge as best as he could through hints and secret images in his work, just like the High Priest that's supposedly hidden within the Mona Lisa. Number 3. The Gathering Storm 
In 2020, a UFO was spotted over the Vatican. UFO and conspiracy theorists believe the aliens were hanging around the Vatican to gather information. Either the Vatican is fully aware of the aliens creeping around their city, or they are stubbornly ignorant. All we know for sure is that something strange was recorded on the Vatican media live stream of St. Peter's Basilica on October 16th of that year. The live stream is a 24-7 broadcast, which looks across the famous Piazza San Pietro, also known as St. Peter's Square. Anyone can tune into the live stream to see what's happening in front of the Vatican at any time of day. The anomaly was spotted hovering over the roof of the Basilica by Scott C. Waring, self-appointed UFO hunter. He saw a dark oval splotch that almost looked like it was being hidden by highly advanced camouflage. The object had no obvious shape, but appeared to be a smudge in the sky. Sadly, there is no indisputable way to prove there are aliens lurking over Vatican City, but the sighting was strange enough that it got people all over the world talking. Some are now wondering what kind of information the Vatican may have that the aliens are interested in. Number 2. The Alien Girl of Chile In 2003, a man in Chile uncovered a mysterious skeleton in the Atacama Desert. The man was something of a scavenger, regularly searching through the abandoned town of La Noria for any potential treasure he could get his hands on. He was digging near a forgotten church in the area when he came across a rather unusual skeleton. The discovery took the world by storm that year. It was on the front page of just about every newspaper in the world, since the skeleton looked like it belonged to a tiny extraterrestrial being. People called it a humanoid monster, an alien, and even a mutant. But in truth, the skeleton likely belonged to a human girl. The skeleton is highly unusual because it's only 6 inches 15 centimeters tall. It's so small it can fit in the palm of your hand. When scientists from Stanford University removed a small rib fragment and did a DNA analysis, the results came back as human. The so-called alien skeleton turned out to be a small human girl who only grew to be less than a foot tall. But how could this be possible? And why was it found near the ruined church of an abandoned town in a Chilean desert? Unfortunately, nobody has been able to answer these questions. Scientists argue the girl was likely the victim of some disease that prevented her bones from growing. Another explanation is that she could have been a stillbirth and never fully lived. Others argue she was the failed experiment of aliens mixing their own DNA with that of humans. The failed genetic experiment was then discovered by priests in the small town, and the skeleton was then buried behind the church to conceal the horror of what they'd seen. Number 1. Alien Gargoyle At a 12th century Scottish abbey, there is a gargoyle emerging from the side of the building that clearly has no business being there. The gargoyle isn't your typical beast hunched over a stone drainpipe. Instead, this one is a very obvious extraterrestrial being. It looks like the alien creature from the Alien franchise with a long, slick head, sharp claws, and a mouth full of pointy teeth. But what in the world is this thing doing at a 12th century abbey? The medieval site is called Paisley Abbey, and although it was built 900 years ago, its history goes back much further. The area was established as a community by Saint Mirren in the 7th century. After his death, a shrine was built in his honor. This became a popular pilgrimage site, and a small monastery was established here in 1163. A group of monks arrived to tend to the priory, and by 1245, Paisley had earned itself the status of abbey. However, in the years that followed, the structure experienced a very difficult time. Edward I of England burned the building down in 1307. It was rebuilt in the 14th century, but once again fell into disrepair. Throughout the 15th and 16th centuries, a series of fires left the abbey in a state of ruin. The tower collapsed and most of the structure was plundered for stone. It was almost completely in shambles by the 19th century, but it was saved just in the nick of time, and by 1928, the building was reconstructed. Now let's get back to the significance of the gargoyle alien at one of the holiest places in Scotland. In 1991, Paisley Abbey underwent restoration work. Twelve of its gargoyles were extremely damaged and had to be removed altogether. When the stonemasonry company behind the work replaced the gargoyles with newer models, they made one into a xenomorph from the Alien movies, just for fun. Even though it looks like the alien was crafted by the original builders, it's only about three decades old. Do you think the church could be in cahoots with an alien civilization? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.